It's the return of the Talk Pod. Look, it's an A36 Plus. For those who are familiar with my channel, you would have seen that I've reviewed this radio before. This apparently is a little bit different. I was browsing through my comments recently and someone said that this radio has been updated. This is an eight watt version of the Talk Pod and if you just have a look there, here is the FCC ID. The power says that it is less than 10 watts. This also says that this is marketed as a GMRS radio, so 462, 467 megahertz. But we're gonna see if we can do the special code unlock to try and get it working on the hand bands. This radio suffered when it first came out a spurious emissions problem. It was really, really dirty and it turned off a lot of people. And it was a bit of a shame because this radio was really good on AM. Uh, it sounded good on the aircraft AM band. People bought it for that. They also bought it to use as a GMRS radio or an amateur radio as well. And it was just, it was just a shame that the it was a little bit dirty. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this onto the test with the Tiny SA today and see if it really has been fixed. Now, from memory, I think I have to hold the PTT button, press eight, and turn this on, and we get the expand menu. And we go, oh, look at that. We're transmitting on the hand bands. Cool, so that's the first step done. Next step is let's hook it up to the Tiny SA and see what it looks like. I am a little bit, I'm gonna say I'm, that I'm doubting that it's actually been fixed, but I do trust the comments that uh, that you leave in the below in the videos. And someone did mention, they said, hey, the talk pod's been fixed. You should uh, check it out. So. I got one, I got one sent to me, and let's see what happens. So what I'll do is, I'm gonna come straight out of the radio into this end connector. It goes through this 20 dB attenuator, and then it's gonna go through another 20 dB attenuator because we're gonna have five watts, or actually, it says that this radio is eight watts now. So anyway, we can measure that later, but we got, say, five to eight watts coming out of here into the 20 dB attenuator, another 20 dBs, and we don't wanna blow the front end of our tiny SA up. So let's now turn this on. And what I need to do is, I need to go into the harmonic measuring mode. So if I go to measure harmonic, and we'll select a frequency of 146.5, which is our calling frequency here, megahertz, then we want a span, let's not start at zero, let's start at about 100 megahertz, and we'll stop at one gigahertz. And then go to display, and we wanna draw a line at minus 16. And we also wanna offset in our uh, measurements our level, because we have some external gain. We have negative 40 dB of external gain. So that should now readjust itself here as it does its sweeps, which it is. Now we're good to go. So what will happen is when I start transmitting, which is now, we should see our fundamental, which is that first marker go all the way up. All of these other markers will start to settle down. It takes a little bit of time because this radio is sweeping through the uh, frequencies. It's going from 100 to, or 100 megahertz to one gigahertz relatively quickly. Um, so it takes a little bit of time for it to, to search through. Oh my goodness, look at this. So everything under that blue line, we wanna see everything under the blue line. They fixed it. The talk pod actually is clean. Marker one, that's showing our or our fundamental frequency on two meters. There is nothing else. They've fixed this. Let's have a look on the communications test set, spectrum analyzer, and we get seven watts of RF output power. That's not too bad. Uh, I mean, it's saying that it's eight watts, but seven, still more than five. Now I'm intrigued to see what the spectrum analyzer shows. So that's our signal there. We've got a span of 200 kilohertz and that's our fundamental. Let's now go to the second harmonic, which I believe is 293, and minus 20, that's way down there, 
also down. Now just to triple confirm, here I've got the center frequency of 250 megahertz. I've got a span of 250 megahertz. So there's our fundamental there. And I can see one little tiny little tiny little spur there what's that that's the second harmonic but it's nowhere near what the old five watt version of the torque pod was if i'll just show you here on the screen right now what the five watt version of the torque pod looked like it was pretty bad you could see that it was uh putting out almost just as much power on the second harmonic as it was on the first i am very surprised wow so the 8 watt version of the A36 Plus is running version 1.6 here of the firmware. It is available on Amazon. Now, the firmware version, obviously that's not going to change whether it is clean or not. That must have been a hardware revision that they did. Uh, on Amazon, if you want to get one of these, then there is a link in the description below. If you want to support the channel, that is an affiliate link. Now I've got a pile of other handheld radios here too some of them are dirty some of them are clean some of them have some pretty nifty features if you want to know what they are then there is a link here to some more videos where i review all of these in depth